couple videos ago, I talked about how the Switch Pro is still coming, and I gave the reasons why it's still coming, uh, presented a little bit of old evidence that uh, is still true, but I didn't ask this important question, and I need to give credit to a Trivial Matter on Twitter. Uh, he says, do we need a Switch Pro? And should Nintendo just wait until their next-gen system? And that's what we're going to talk about here, is do we even need a Nintendo Switch Pro, or should we have a Switch 2? or something like that and when exactly would that next generation happen or what's good timing for it if they do it in lieu of a switch pro so first off we need to talk about what are the benefits of releasing a switch pro because at this point if nintendo is going to do a switch pro it probably needs to come out in 2020 at some point either before or while next gen hits probably before uh so we're not like having three three newish platforms launch at the same time so I would say, for gamers' sake, it'd be nice if it launched in summer. So, you know, if there is going to be a Switch Pro, next year makes sense. By summer, at some point, makes sense. And then uh, Nintendo's kind of prepared for, yeah, Xbox and PlayStation 5 are going to destroy it. But it is at, you know, levels that can get, you know, backwards compatibility ports for a while. Because what we know is going to happen with PlayStation 5 and, and the next Xbox is likely what happened with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, where... All the games that came to those systems also seemingly came to the last generation systems for the first couple of years. So if you have a Switch Pro, that just makes it even more likely to get more of those games over the next couple of years. And that is really the great benefit of the Switch Pro beyond boosting what games are already on Switch, like making Witcher 3 run even better. Uh, it could also just take, you know, more and more ports over the next couple of years that will still be happening on PlayStation 4 and Xbox. So it's actually a great way to keep Switch relevant while Xbox, uh, the next Xbox and PlayStation 5 are out. So that's kind of the benefit of a Switch Pro is that it's not just a better system with more storage and all that. It also enables Switch to get even more third-party support for a couple of years, kind of the bridge the gap until the next generation Switch or whatever the case might be. But do we even need that? Obviously, we know Switches are flying off shelves right now. Switch Lite is flying off shelves. Uh, a whole bunch of good sales data is coming in on all of the sales charts. Switch has won the MPD, uh, I think, every single month of this year. So uh, when you think about it, Switch is in a really good place and should be in a good place for most of 2020 as, again, with Next Gen wrapping up, really until we get to like November-ish, uh, Nintendo is going to dominate. And even then, if they drop the the breath of the wild sequel or something during that time switch could still stay massively relevant and then it's more so in 2021 uh when you might have to start worried about how or what kind of library is, is switch going to have to stay relevant with these next gen platforms just blowing people's minds uh and well again switch has an advantage as well in all of this in that it's the only portable system, and because it's portable, it doesn't need to compete head-to-head -head with the raw power and specs and performance of the other platforms, so it does get a little bit of leeway. So then the question is, do we really need the Switch Pro? And I think need is different than want. I would, I, I would like a Switch Pro. I want Switch Pro to be real. I want it to be a thing we get. But maybe instead of Switch Pro, we should be asking Nintendo, when are we going to get the next generation of switch itself because in theory a next gen switch could be ready as soon as 2021 which would line up perfectly launching a year after playstation 5 and the next xbox that also in 2021 would give the og switch a full four years on the market which yes is shorter than normal and would kind of match what happened with wii u but would also be able to better compete with the upcoming platforms with better hardware instead of just doing for a slight upgrade uh, a little bit faster memory or whatever they might do with a switch pro with better screens they could instead in lieu of all of that go for a lot bigger generational leap go for some next gen technology technology that actually exists right now uh with some tablets and other things coming out that are actually more powerful than a switch and reaching base playstation 4 some of them touting playstation 4 pro level um, I don't know if I can go quite that far, but if we can get a next generation Switch that performs at a PlayStation 4 or even better than a PlayStation 4, you're going to start to look at something that is much more viable in the marketplace and is going to carve out its niche and is much more likely to get down ports of games that while they might not be in 4K, they might not be at 60 FPS or whatever, they're still going to be perfectly serviceable in a portable f form, you know, years and years down the road and still going to be able to compete with PlayStation 5 and the next Xbox if you're someone that cares about Nintendo competing with them. And obviously will still look really good in docked mode on TV. 
at least as good as PlayStation 4 games tend to look today, which I think people would find to be pretty acceptable from a system they could literally just lift up and walk out with. So that is the kind of technology that, that is there, that is available to Nintendo. I don't know if it's going to come from NVIDIA, but it is available, at least from AMD, for if Nintendo wanted to go down that road and, and build this ultimate next-generation Switch. This is something that is obviously really good. Now, a next generation switch could still happen even with a switch pro happening but a next generation switch would likely not happen in 2021 if a switch pro comes out switch pro would finally be like the new nintendo 3ds and could push a next gen switch launch out two to three years so now we're looking at 2022 2023 uh switch will have been on the market for five six years which seems like a really good way to handle things and you know if you kind of look at how nintendo's always seem to handle their generations of hardware it would seem like a switch pro makes sense if that means the next gen switch isn't coming out to 2023 because that would obviously give nintendo more time to use even better technology and then maybe we're talking about you know more than playstation 4 pro or xbox um you know xbox one x performance out of a, a next gen switch and that's really exciting as well and i i think we just need to ask ourselves which direction do we want Nintendo to go? Do we want them to say screw the Switch Pro and just give us the next gen Switch sooner, or give us the Switch Pro, give us the next gen Switch later? What, what, like, which do you think is happening? And, and here's even a better question: Do we even think a next gen Switch is coming? Nintendo has not confirmed there's going to be a next generation of Switch. They confirmed there's going to be a family of Switch systems, which we already have, and Switch Lite and the Switch. So what are we going to see from the future? Is Nintendo going to abandon the entire Switch concept? Now, I don't think they will, because I think Switch Lite replaced the uh, 3DS line personally. And with that and the Switch, I don't think Nintendo's planning to abandon the Switch concept anytime soon. No one else in the marketplace is really doing it, at least not as successfully as they are. There are some third-party companies that have similar devices and people trying to turn like Razer phones and stuff into uh, similar things. But it's not the same thing. It's not a dedicated gaming device. Nintendo kind of owns that market all to themselves, plus the mobile market that they bring over with Pokemon and Animal Crossing and all that. So the thing is, Nintendo's in this unique situation where I don't know that there's one path that's better than the other i think for me personally i would love a switch 2 in 2021 but i can hold off with the switch pro and wait for 2022 2023 but a switch a, a brand new switch in 2021 would probably be you know a switch 2 in 2020 would be more relevant for a little bit longer uh and you could still do an upgrade to that in 2023 2024 so I, it's a very interesting situation we find ourselves in as uh, we do need to start looking a little bit more to next gen. And we need to start thinking about, you know, Witcher 3 seems to be performing very well sales-wise on Switch. Well, how can we ensure games like that from next-gen platforms continue to come over, even if we somehow get a port of Cyberpunk 2077, which I think they said isn't planned, but they haven't ruled it out. It's kind of like, hey, we're not even thinking about it, but we're not going to say never kind of thing. Um, even if we somehow can get a port like that, Again, that's current gen. What, what, what about games that are made for next gen, you know, in a few years when they're not backwards compatible with PlayStation 4 anymore? What about then? What, what's the best course of action for that? And a next gen Switch in 2021 is probably the best bet to continue to get, you know, even game, even late ports of games. Uh, but, again, better technology, 2023, a Switch Pro might be able to stay relevant long enough. Uh, for the first couple years of the next Xbox. So I, th this is a situation that I'm not sure there's a, a correct answer for. I think it's just all personal opinions and what you desire. Personally, I would like to see a next gen switch in 2021 and have them skip the pro but i am okay if they release like a pro model switch uh next year and then give us a next gen switch in 2022 2023 that's fine with me as well obviously it's going to come down to performance and what it's able to do i know nintendo doesn't like talking about that kind of stuff but that's ultimately what's going to matter uh to get all these third-party ports and the switch keeps getting more and more third-party ports uh we can't forget you know games like mortal kombat 11 that launched day and date on switch and how well that performs so I think this is just something that we need to keep in mind. I think it's something that's uh, an interesting discussion point, and I really want to throw it out to you guys because I don't really have a good answer. I have what I want to happen, but I'm kind of cool with either situation. And these are just 
the, the hypothetical situations I'm presenting, it's entirely possible Switch Pro doesn't exist, and we still don't get a next-gen Switch till 2022, 2023. Uh, and then what kind of world is that? Is that a world you want to live in, too, where like there is no upgrades to Switch for, for many years? Is an upgraded Switch even something you want? Do you even want a next-gen Switch or a Switch Pro? Or are you just like, hey, look, I got my Switch. I'm happy. I'll be happy for the next decade. I don't need anything else. I mean, that's, that's a, a thing that could exist as well. So uh, I want to know what you guys think about this. And also, we got to talk about backwards compatibility i mean i assume a next gen switch would be fully backwards compatible right i mean it has to be at some uh, in some way i especially if you're gonna use the switch name i don't want to see a wii u where it's like it plays wii games but in a separate mode like no natively on the system let's see it played uh so i don't know there's a lot of things to address as well how's the online system going to transfer over um you know i'd say virtual console but that's kind of dead so i don't know you guys let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below it's a lot to think about a lot to process uh, but I like to think that there is something to think about and something to process that's worthwhile here. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you all uh, so much for checking out this video, and I will catch you in the next one.